there's a page with his bio on it. It's so good to be with people around this issue. I feel like I want to talk so much, right? Like I just like all these thoughts. I'm sure all of us are just like all these thoughts, all these sort of connections. And I want to thank you, Anna and Amy and Brenda. Is that everyone who's put this together tonight? Heidi, kind of. Heidi from a distance. Heidi? From a distance. Oh, from a distance. Okay. Um, and I also um, particularly uh, want to acknowledge Amy also for being willing to say negative things. This is my dedication <laughs> to negativity tonight. Um, there's a sort of fear of it, and I feel that that is a fear of action in a kind of a way. So thank you, Amy. Sure, anytime. Um, I'm going to read a small little section from the story of my accident is ours. And the reason is because I think that one of the things that this is really about, and even like this, this sort of my heckling of Amy at the car, sorry, um, is uh, that it's so hard to imagine uh, coming up against the largeness of oil. And, and you know, it's, it's interesting. I, 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 how many of us have taught comp? in this space, space right? We've all talked about, and you know, you sort of come up with these themes, and I, right after that movie, There Will Be Blood came out, I don't know how many of you saw it, I, I read the book, Oil, by Kip, um, help me out, Sinclair Lewis, and, um, and I saw, you know, I, I'm obsessed with the movie Chinatown, like so many of us are, and I started thinking about oil and water, and oil and water, and the connection, and power, the power behind them, and how these huge things are used, and, sort of uh, harbored by power. Um, and so large, the large becomes ever larger. And so this is sort of um, how we can uh, um, like rethink or re you know, continue to uh, imagine shifting things even though things are the way they are um, in a way and in a way not. Uh, public space and private sphere. I do not think that this world in which we found ourselves, oh, so the story of my accident is ours is a kind of world, other world that is reminiscent of our world. I do not think that this world in which we found ourselves nameless, tagged, and more often than not allowed to physically survive constitutes that thing which before its obsolescence as a concept was the thing that was thought of as a society in the way that society implied a particular sort of non or semi-commercial relationship which existed nearly but not quite squarely outside the operations of the state with more of its weight being between and among its members so as to be a thing simultaneously enforced upon us and generated from amongst us a special contradiction of public and private invented by the then new ruling class before they were completely ruling and when they were installing and maneuvering toward improvised improved conditions in which to be the ruling class conditions which they advertise as being improved conditions for society as a whole. Unlike us, that infant ruling class of yesteryear, which is the mature ruling class presiding over the world in which we live, possessed and adamantly, defensively, eloquently, and obsessively defined their personalities, which they thought of as something, if not novel, then particular, and made ways for it as the public presentation of their desire, which took the place of their desire, or so they then proclaimed in a provocatively confident yet demure display. It came to be that this society of desire masked this personality which we, the adequately trained, prepared to live in the middle class, were to be seeking as our own personality and for which we were to deny ourselves our own desires and our own personalities, elided its very own self and became, if not something new, a thing revealed through an ex post facto exposition of the past act of discourse, i.e. hindsight, in which we, who were certain we were supposed to be like that, but didn't know why, and they who felt that because they understood why they had to be like that, were able to go on with our habit of fervent activity and not have a palpable impact on each other, despite adjacency, proximity, and other means of being close to a thing, but not part of it. It is in the fact that the once not yet completely ruling class had been able to be the first, the, to be first the somewhat ruling class and later the ruling class completely, that we learned, no, we could see, no, 
those of us who came before us could see and come to know and therefore help us to see and come to know that if something could come to be where something else was and furthermore that this replacing thing could shift and budge the shape of the rest of things until the shape of things was completely transformed into an exaggerated or diminutive or diminished version of the shape of the once new thing once it was no longer new. Amid the vast and nearly completely unmanageable spaces between us in the inarticulate detritus of their remainder, we found ourselves and found a place for ourselves. It had been as though we were on different banks of a deep, wide river, which we wanted to cross and had been used to crossing before the bridges had been blown up to protect us, so that in order to cross we would need to walk for miles along that same river to get to a bridge still standing, and in doing so find ourselves in a dangerous confrontation with or in the employ of those who had come here to watch over us, or those who had also happened upon them and come to be in their employ and therefore be required to go after us. In these spaces, we discovered that we belonged neither to the corporate body nor to any of the small, more digestible parts from which it gained its most agreeable profit, nor to any of the anachronist, nor to any anachronistic notion of a society at large, nor, nor to any of the specific spheres which were thought to derive from this, the large, always growing ever larger as a whole. I'm also just going to read a couple of notes. So I've been uh, thinking a lot about, uh, I, I think it comes from the Civil Rights Movement, right? You make the road by walking as well. And I i don't know if I can do this, actually. This is really just, OK. Um, I'm going to just read a couple, like, a couple of lines from this. We love our glandular parts. We hate our glandular parts. I love what I do, says Sandra Bullock at the MTV Movie Awards, June 6, 2010. This road was made by walking. The anatomy of hate. I am a liar, not a Nazi, says Jesse James. A healthy lifestyle, your perfect grease. I'm sick, oh, this is Heidi Montag. I'm sick of the lies, and it's a lie. That's it.